Hi, I'm Lane. My role is summarizer. As a summarizer, I have to read the book very carefully, and then when I'm done, go back onto a paper and um, write down all the most important details of the book. My job during the literature circle is to read my paper and then answer any questions that people have about the story. Okay, so um, I'm summarizer, and the summary for chapters 3 and 4 is the ship that they were writing to go back to Virginia um, was torpedoed, and then Philip was saved by a person named, by a big black man named Timothy on a raft. He didn't know that at the time because he had been hit on the head and was knocked out. So he pulled him up onto the raft while he was out cold. Okay, they didn't have many supplies with him, like water. So when he woke up and was thirsty, Timothy wouldn't give him much and it made Philip not like him. Then the next day, um, even though Timothy had warned him not to look at the sun much, he had, so the next day he woke up and he couldn't see. Timothy told him he um, couldn't see, but it was just like a temporary thing. So I don't know if it's going to last or not. And he missed his mom, who had, he had lost in the shipwreck. Well, we, didn't know, we don't know if she's dead, but um, they're not together. My name is Laura, and my role is discussion leader. And... What I do before um, the Lit Circle is find questions in the book that are open-ended, that are like multiple choices that you could answer, like um, were you surprised when, or like why or why not, or do you think the main character made a good choice, and things like that, that you can answer many choices and still be right. And then what I do um, in the Lit Circle while everybody's talking, I ask people what they would think and then they will tell their answers, and I'll tell mine. Okay. I am the discussion leader, and, well, my first question is, what would you feel like if you were to have Peter? Scared. Really scared. scared. Really, scared. Really, scared. really, really scared. Yeah, I would be scared because I'm not the best swimmer. Neither am I. I can't swing, swim long distance. Yeah, yeah I, I can't, can't Don't work like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, next question. Okay. Okay. Next question. How would you feel if you woke up and having a mean girl like staring at you? That would be really uh, well, creepy. Back then, I'd be I'd like, punch him in the face and who are you? <laughs> considering yeah, I, back then, like, how different they were, how they yeah. were treated really differently, I'd be kind of freaked out. Yeah, I should have be, been taught all my life not to like them. I would I, be really confused. I'd be creeped out, out and, like, I would be scared because I wouldn't be able to like them. not to like them, remember? His mom didn't like yeah. them. Okay, the next question is, what would you feel like if you, you felt like you were going blind? Hi, I'm Karis, and I am. My role is the illustrator. And what I do before the literature circle is in the book, though, you'll pick a scene and you'll draw a picture of it. And then below, write a sentence explaining your picture. And then my job during the literature circle is to show my the people in your group your picture, and then read your sentence to them, and then kind of explain it. And yeah. <laughs> I'm the illustrator. My picture, it's when the Negro, the guy, Timothy, he was going to give him a fish and he didn't know what to do. And, and then my sentence is, Timothy told Philip to eat the fish Timothy caught. Would you want to eat a strange flying fish that ended up on, the, on your boat that was raw? No, he caught it with his hands. But it's still raw. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to if eat you didn't have any food, fish. I would. Yeah, if I was starving, I might. I would at least try it. it. It'd be disgusting, I'd ask though. him to cook it, and if he couldn't, then I would try it. They didn't have enough matches. They just gave it to, like, some smoke fire or something. I might here. try it. It doesn't mean I would eat it. Hi, I'm Morgan, and my role is the word wizard. What you do is in the section you're reading, you find challenging words, and then you'll look up those words up in the dictionary and find them. They can be words you don't know or your group don't doesn't know. Then, um, then during the lit circle, um, I everybody has their book, and you'll tell them the page it's on, and you'll everybody will go around in the circle and see if the um, see what they think 
the definition is, then you will actually tell them the real definition. I'm a word wizard, and um, one word we all found was hunches on page 31. 31. 31. 32. 31. Um, 31 paragraph. It's, um... Oh, found it. Bottom of the paragraph. Like, uh, where? Oh, it's one, one right there. Two, three, it's um paragraph four, on the bottom. Five, six. Oh. Paragraph on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Um, the sentence it was used in was a big black and gray cat that was looking its pinches. What all do you guys think that means? His fingers. Yeah, fingers. Yeah, cat fingers. with fingers. No. Like its nails. I have absolutely no Oh, idea. the cat was looking at its nails? I think it would be. I don't know, that's what you guys said. It, it's the fingers. sentence it was used in was, a big black and gray cat was licking its hunches. That's what the sentence. Ma licking maybe like, like legs? Maybe yeah, licking like the cat's fur? Like scars or fur? Fingers. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the real one was, the, it means the hip. Like, it's my horrible drawing. But, like, there's the cat and you see its hip. No. Oh, that. I like that. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Okay. Like she told me. Go to page 33. Okay. <laughs> so, first game jitters. Hi, my name is Grant, and I, my role is a story connector and a real life connector. What I do as a story connector and real life connector, um, I write something that, ha that happened in our book as like something important, and then. I write for the story connector something that happened in another story. And as a real life connector, I write something that happened to me, like that's similar to the book. And then my job during the literature circle is to tell them what it is and then uh, have them tell me what other books they've read that are like that. And tell like their personal life about something that's happened. Okay, we'll start out with the real life connector. Okay, event from a story. He is in a wreck, and, oh, Philip is in a wreck in, during World War II, and something similar happened to me or someone I know. My friend was in a car accident about three years ago. Okay. Um, I've never had somebody in a wreck or one of my friends, but my grandpa, mm -hmm. he, oh, well, <laughs> well, my grandpa, he drives a train, and somebody almost ran, like, he threw on those train things and ran in front of them, and so, but she stopped like that far away. So he got lucky. One time, my brother was like pulling to a parking spot here at the school, and then he like ran into the back side of a girl's car, and I was on the side to hit the car. And then the girl, this car he hit was in the parking lot still, and she saw him in her car, and she was not happy with him. Yeah. Was it? I don't know. Okay. A person. A girl. Um, like, first grade, I think I was in a car wreck. <laughs> like, how'd it happen? Like, roads were slick. <laughs> I guess. Slushy. Yeah, slushy. Um, Alright, this is a story connector. Here's an event from the story. He gets lost and he doesn't know where he is. And something similar happened in another story. He got lost in a castle. What story? What story? Um, Hayden 3, I think. <laughs> 